I'm not a medical doctor. I'm giving you my personal advice based on my personal experience. But it's going to be good and it's something you can use. You should coordinate with your medical doctor though, right? Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, did you take your vitamin pill this morning? Ah, you did. And now you think everything is fine because you're doing the right thing and so on. But I have to disappoint you. Most likely the vitamin pill you took was not the right dosages and the right quality. Probably the dosages are so low they will have no effect at all on the body. Now, I take vitamins in a different way. This is the vitamins I take every day. And you go, oh my god, he's crazy. No, these were actually recommended by a doctor who is expert on vitamins. The thing is, vitamins is something which is not just, well, I guess it's something which is healthy. No, it's the most essential parts, vitamins and minerals, for the body to communicate within itself and to actually make all the biological processes so needed to work properly in the body, work properly, because it's what's needed. And you think, well, why don't we just get that in our normal food? Well, I can give you a little bit of a clue about that. The food you eat is most likely full of pesticides and poison. And you think, oh yeah, he's one of those health fanatics. But it's true. If a little bacteria sat on the thing you just took out of the fridge, it would die. It's called preservatives. It's poison. Now, you think, well, I don't die. No, you don't. The dosage of poison is not going to kill you. But what about the long-term effects? Hmm? You eat poison every day, most likely. So, vitamins and minerals in high dosages is what's needed to outbalance this very poor diet which you most likely eat. And in dosages which is not at all what you're eating. Now, if you have um, medical conditions, like, like I had a very serious one, um, half a year ago, my heart was enlarged and then I was, I was feeling like an old man. I'm not really joking here. It was really horrible and I was feeling, I, I made up my will. I made a testament. I taped the video to tell my kids how much I loved them and it was really sad. And by following this a diet of vitamins and minerals, I, together with a lot of other things I did, because I did not only do one thing right, I did a lot of things right at the same time. I basically had the strategy, I cannot afford to be wrong, so I have to do everything which is successful. That means right exercise, right food, right vitamins and minerals, and so on. And I'm going to go over all the different stuff with you video by video. This video is dedicated to vitamins and minerals. And the basic clue I'm going to give you, because I'm not an expert on vitamins and minerals, I'm a user, <laughs> and a happy user, and a healthy user, is that you are most likely taking very uh, inadequate amounts of vitamins and minerals, right? Vitamins and minerals are not just something you just take in small dosages. For instance, if I'm getting a cold or flu, it's coming on, you know, and you can feel the body going, I take two to four grams of C vitamins in addition to the portion here, and it kills the, uh, the cold or the flu in its start. My point is vitamins are something which is very, very potent and very, very essential. And there is no money in it f uh, for the medical industry, so they try to keep it hush. And whenever they do a research to prove that vitamins and minerals are not working, they do it by this little trick. They just test very minute dosages and maybe also very bad quality. And it doesn't work, but our stuff works. Well, it has an effect on the body. Ah! No, not all uh, medication is without 
uh, reason or use. Vitamins and minerals is what's natural for your body and your body is probably craving for it. Yeah. Also, there's a lot of um, medicine and alcohol and so on actually uses up your uh, storage of vitamins within the body. It is specialized knowledge and it's being suppressed by the medical profession because it cannot be patented. Nobody can patent a vitamin or a mineral, you know. It's, it's something to place a lot of attention on and it's something to expect a lot of benefits from. See your doctor about it. There is a lot to be gained. So good luck and stay tuned for the next episode of uh, this little tour de anatomy of perfect health. All right, take care.